Alright, now I get to make a story about the thing that I actually want to talk about. I don't know if you saw my video that I posted on Monday. If you didn't, I don't even blame you because by the time this whole spiel, this whole thing was the whatever I call this, story, by the time that whole thing was done, it was like 8 o'clock at night, so I don't even blame you. Tom, are you gonna tell the story about what happened that day? You're damn right I'm gonna tell that story. It was freaking awful. Like, every Monday, I just have one goal, okay? I make videos every Monday. I try and make that happen, no matter what. And now I'm going back to school, so I'm adjusting to this new schedule. That's normal. No big deal. In fact, my class gets done at like 2.20, so I have plenty of time to go home, make the video, edit it, post it, all that good stuff. But last Monday, we were expecting like a really bad storm, so we got Got out of class early, which, you know, that's pretty awesome. Granted, we only got out at 2 o'clock, so I got out 20 minutes earlier, but 20 minutes is still pretty good. And it sounds like it's good news that we're getting out of class early, until you realize that every single class in the entire school is leaving at the same time. So by the time I even got back to my car, I couldn't even pull out of my parking spot because of, like, how long this trail of cars was in, like, right behind my car. So with that, plus the traffic that I had to deal with getting out of the parking lot, it actually took me longer to get home than it would have if it was like a regular day where I would get out at 2.20. It was, it was crazy. So finally I get home, I get ready to make my video, and then I realize camera was on low battery. And usually I would just like, you know, charge my battery before I start filming, but I left my charger at my dad's house, so I couldn't, I wasn't gonna drive like 20 minutes there and back just to get a charger. And plus I've made videos before where the camera is on low battery, so I've dealt with this issue before. All I gotta do is talk really fast, which I'm good at that. But literally as soon as I turned on the camera and started talking, it just died. Like I didn't even have a chance. So now I gotta take my camera, gotta take my laptop, Laptop, gotta get in my car, drive all the way to my dad's house, gotta film the video there, and just do everything at his place. So I drive to my dad's house, and like, this is, this is basically the kind of shit that is the reason why I'm making this video. Because when I get to the house, I realize that the charger wasn't there. I, I drive there, I look everywhere, nowhere to be found. So now I lost my battery charger, and I don't know, I don't know what to do. So I drove 20 minutes there for nothing, now I'm racking up another 20 minutes driving back here. And at this point, I'm like an hour behind schedule, so I finally get back here, I try and open the door, and it's, <laughs> it's locked. And luckily I have like a spare key box thing where I like punch in a code, I can unlock it, I have a spare key. But it was so cold outside that the spare key box lock thing was frozen shut. At this point, I literally feel like God is just like messing with me. Like he's like looking down, he's like, dude, you should be thanking me, man. I'm giving you great material right now. Because at this point, I couldn't get my house, so now I gotta like find a way to break into my own house while it's like 30 degrees outside. Luckily, there was a window that was like still cracked, which I don't know why, because it's like, you know, 30 degrees outside. I don't get why the window was open, but I'm not complaining. So I had to like maneuver my way in. I pop the window open, I crawl in, I basically fall over into my house. I'm in like the worst mood ever at this point. I walk up to my room. I, I just start cleaning my room. I don't, I don't even know why. And then I find the freaking charger thing right here. It was just laying under a shirt. It was just on the ground. I don't know why I put it on the ground, but it was there. So I think this is just a big message for why my mom always told me to clean my room. I get it now. I'm gonna start doing it. Honestly, I think the only way this could have like gotten even worse is if like when I went into my house, I like set off a silent alarm that I somehow didn't know about. Like I start filming the video and just like the police come in and just like arrest me. Like that's the only way it could have gotten even worse. And honestly, at this point, I almost wish that happened. It would have just made the story even better. I don't, I don't even care. If bad things happen to me, I'm just making videos about them. But guys, can you give me a thumbs up? I feel like I earned it with that story. Like, like, the kind of stuff I have to go through for you guys when it comes to making some of these videos. That was by far the most difficult video I ever had to make. And yeah, that's all I'm asking for. Just a thumbs up. And maybe, maybe watch the last video, because I feel like a lot of you guys might not have seen that. Like, I've been posting mad videos lately. Like, I always do the Mondays, but I've just been posting random extra ones, like, throughout the week, too. It's kind of awesome. So yeah, I'm just letting you know, in case, like, you might have missed a few, just go to my channel. Make sure you didn't. And also, if this is your first time, like, ever watching one of my videos, and you don't hate my face, and you love when terrible things happen, to me, feel free to subscribe because I tell stories like this a lot and I do other stuff too. But guys, uh, that's really all I've got to say on it. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys real soon. Can't wait. Peace.